good getting internet and I'm back. This is my first video, not counting the aborted attempt at recording a video that you may have watched yesterday, of um, my first time back from after my appendectomy. That's the reason why I was, um, well, basically not recording videos for any extended period of time is that I, um, so today is Tuesday the 29th of January for reference for me. Um, so I'm not too far off of when you're potentially watching this. He seems being very squirrely today. He ruined a lot of my footage earlier. Um, so Thursday night, I basically started having some weird stomach issues. And extremely late at night, I went to the emergency room because it could have been either a kidney stone, which I've had in the past, or my appendix going boom. It was my appendix going boom. It didn't actually burst. I My appendix stayed intact, but it got infected with some type of bacteria. And I've been recovering ever since. It's not fun dealing with somebody stabbing your appendix over and over again. I, I keep telling people I, get in, I got into a knife fight with my appendix and I won. Um, unfortunately, it means that my abdominal muscles are extremely bruised. So getting up and sitting down or laying down at all or especially trying to get up from laying down is very painful. One advantage, though, is that this chair, the one that I'm actually sitting in for my office chair, is actually about the correct angle for me, the correct height. It's actually not that bad for me to get down and get back up. So today's the first day I've been able to sit down in it and for extended periods of time, and I wanted to start recording more videos because I'm nearly out of a buffer. Anyway, um, a couple of things I want to go through on my videos for a bit of notes. You'll notice that my saves go up to episode 19, and you might have actually noticed that it's at the end of episode 17. That was me messing up. Um, I incremented my save numbers when I shouldn't have needed to. Um, I have not recorded content that you haven't seen, unless you didn't watch episode 17 and a half, but that's not being reflected in this. That was just me messing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the save and actually save it over episode 18. Okay. Um, second thing to know, we have a lot of Nyon to explore and I'm not going to. The reason why is that I had just done that in episode 17 and a half and found nothing that I can do, triggering several potentially game-breaking bugs, and Isun. I definitely triggered Isun, he was all over me. So what we're actually going to do is that we're going to go back to Stone City instead. So the easiest way to go back to Stone City, well, first off, we're going to go heal. Medical attention. Isun is being cute, hold on a moment. My jacket's down here and it's not easy for me to bend over. Oh, I've run over my jacket, too. That does not help things. I will set this here for now, so it's at a higher angle for me to grab later. Uh, it's kind of what I've had to learn to do with this um, appendix removal surgery, is that I've had to learn, okay, I'm at a lower position right now. I can bring this item to a higher position. That way, the next time I stand up, I can grab the item and leave. <sighs> anyway... By the way, do not recommend appendicitis for anything. Uh, I've also temporarily switched over to using my trackball. Uh, that's because of Isin. It's entirely Isin's fault. Um, we're going to recast Invis. This trackball is wanting to stick, too. That's not a good sign. I might need to clean it out. So I don't think I've actually talked about this subject before. Um... What are people's preferred methods of input? I mean, mouse and keyboard's kind of the classic style. Up there's the one I wanted. As I was saying, mouse and keyboard's kind of the classic style that everybody's used to using. Um, and obviously for some types of games, keyboard tends to work better for people's other types of games. Um, which well, game pads work better. But I'm actually referring to, in this case, um, not mouse and keyboard so much as what type of mouse? A lot of people have very specific preferences on mice, and I'm one of them. Uh, my personal preference on a mouse is actually a trackball. Is this the one that's easy to get out of? I don't think this is. I think I meant to go the other one. Nope, this is not the easy one. I'm just going to turn around and walk back. Good plan, me. Start recording a video saying that I messed up and did a whole bunch of useless things the last video, and I continue to do that this video. Good job. X 
expert staff. Yes, I know I need to, oh, master hacker. I actually needed to come here, okay? I was, okay. Bowmaster's here, which I can't learn until promotion. And I don't think I can learn at all with this party. And is that it? Yep, that's four. Anyway, um, what was the, I must have gone from over here, yeah. That must have been the entrance that I used before. Let's recast Torchlight for our light wishing friends. Then I will recast Invis so I stay stealthy while I have a Torchlight surrounding me. Anyway. <laughs> Do I overthink things? Yep, this is the one. So Thunderfist Mountain actually connects to another dungeon that we will go to later. Uh, that dungeon is the Tunnels to Eofel. And I briefly went through it in my mess up video, but well, it was a mess up video. I didn't go very far. We gotta get out of We really shouldn't be there anyway. Um, I am horrifically underleveled for going there, but it's a way to sequence break the game. Because you actually start triggering plot from things that haven't happened yet. Nor are there any signs of it happening yet, because apparently the game creators never thought that you would just be naturally curious and want to find out what's beyond the other bend. I'm confused by that. Also, I went the wrong way. Let's double time this. I went the wrong way again. Really? I'm doing great, let me tell you. Oh, wizard eyes down. Uh, also, I found out I didn't actually finish clearing out these tunnels, which is unfortunate. Because I don't feel like doing that. So this passage right here, the one that I'm walking through right now, is the only part of this that you actually have to go through. Everything else, there's multiple routes everywhere. I don't quite understand this dungeon's layout. My best guess was that it was originally two dungeons that basically got smashed together. Anyway, there's a couple of items here that are actually not that bad. That I must have missed before. Or it wasn't that they were that bad so much as they actually had value. We might have some like that. This. Okay. Anyway, you have now watched everything that I accomplished in the previous video. Alright. So what we're going to do this video, and I'm going to show the quest log really fast. My quest log, that is. Um, so we're going to finally progress the plot a bit. We're going... We have... We've, ha we've had the dwarves our inventory... <laughs> inventory. We've had the dwarves in the party for a long time now. There's no reason why we couldn't have done this earlier, except that I was intentionally trying to avoid progressing plot. I'm still trying to avoid progressing plot for reference, but there's not much left that I can do without doing that. Um, there's still three towns that we haven't gone to yet, two of which are not possible to go to until after we progress more plot. And the third one requires us to go to Tatalia on a Saturday or on a Sunday, which is not feasible for us to do yet. And I'm basically just going to avoid doing that until we absolutely have to go to even more. Well, this time I can walk through. Okay. Throne rooms over here. Welcome back, Lords of Harmondale. Now I will help you. My engineer will work for you. Fix up your castle. You have my thanks. You are welcome here forever. <laughs> One more thing. Your work has interested the other courts. They will send ambassadors to you now. Check your throne room. Watch your back, my friends. So, Hothfar? I mean, that was the last quest we ever have to do in Stone City. We never have to talk to this guy again. There are no quests left in the game in Stone City. We have actually finished Stone City itself. Da, 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 da. Um, now we're going to be progressing to the next stage of plot in this game. And it opens up more quests and so on. But something I wanted to point out, and Hothfar... So... First off, we are at 45 reputation. If we go to the temple, which I should have done on the way there now, I think about it. 
Let's go to the temple. supposed to. Anyway, um, this is as high reputation as we get uh, in the game. Anywhere. Basically, Stone City will be our base of operations for any time that we care about reputation. So, for buying and selling things, for the most part. We don't have to come here ever, though. So, usually, I end up dropping a portal here. So, yeah. So, remember way back, Wendell Tweed was the court historian and had given us some of the history as to what's going on? Well, we actually have more things now. So, um, these are the parts of the Great Contest explaining what we did back in the previous episodes. But now, so it's February 1168 to November 17th, 1168. In gratitude for my lord's heroic rescue of the dwarves from their old mine, Dwarf King Hothfar the Ninth has officially recognized them as the rightful lords of Harmondale. Emissaries were sent to the surrounding countries to herald this declaration. And in response, Arathi and Avli have sent ambassadors to Castle Harvendale to officially represent their positions. So, basically, the dwarves have beefed up our castle. And people are now starting to basically recognize you not as, oh, these are the poor schmucks that are getting Harmondale next, and, huh, they're actually doing something. What? I don't understand. So... Hermondale starts liking me better at this point. I still have something in my eye. Ah. You'll notice our quest log is really tiny. We only have five quests. Um, and we've got all of these marked up here for reference. I can turn this off now. Um, we can't do most of these. So, from here, we need to go back to Harmondale. Easiest way to go back to Harmondale is Town Portal. Because we actually have the spell now. However, we Town Portal to the castle of Harmondale. You notice that there's no junk around anymore. I just want to go to the door so I can show you what it looks like. So the outside looks the same, but when you look at it, the front door to your new home stands before you and actually looks rather nice. Some decorative designs up at the top, nice gold fixtures. I'm assuming it's bronze, but whatever. And here's our friendly golem. Good evening. Hey, Golem. So if we had the Abbey Normal Golem, we would, instead of having the friendly Golem here, we would have a very unfriendly Golem who would be attacking us right now. Uh, before I actually go in there, I want to start looking around. You notice that these areas look a lot better now. They look nice and formal. They're repaired, but there's still nobody living here. Um, in addition, because the castle has been repaired up a bit, I think we can now go to a couple places that we couldn't. Oh, so I was talking about input devices. So, my preference for input devices is, and will probably forever be, a trackball. Which, this is normal. I'm just picking it up so it's not in the way. Um, trackball like this. I mean, not hold it in my hand. Trackball. Um, these are practically a dime a dozen. You can usually find them on sale from Amazon. Okay, no, it doesn't look like I can go any further yet. That must be a bit later. Um, they've recent, uh, Logitech is the one that makes these. I have seven of them. Uh, they make for really good portable devices, which is why I have so many, because I have them attached to various things. Oh. Something new's here. To my sorrow, the old rivalry between Arathi and Avli has flared up again. And that would have been my cat knocking into things. Um, and this time it is over us. My lord's effectiveness have made this territory a valuable resource, and their powers... You yeah, soon? And their powers wish to claim Harmondale as theirs. So basically what ended up happening is that because Harmondale it's like, oh, th this place isn't that big of a piece of garbage. Let's fight! So this section of the game is the war section of the game. It lasts for one game month. This is timed. Everything in this section of the game has to happen within this one month. This is the reason why I wanted Town Portal. Because 
we if I want to be able to complete every quest in the game, that means I have to actually complete every quest in the game. And when one of the quests in the game frequently doesn't show up for anybody at all, like you have one week to trigger it and that's it, then yeah, I'm not going to see it. So I want to make sure that I trigger it. And that means using Town Portal. Anyway, long story short, there's reasons to believe that both countries would actually control Harmondale. And the war is going to start happening here. Too far. But everybody has sent representatives here. Oh, um, I'm not going to get too far ahead right now, but we will be able to decide the results of the war for reference. And there are three outcomes, although the game only hints at two of them. Um, outcome one. Well, first off, our butler here. You rang, my lords. My lords, Castle Harmondale stands ready. So we've got representatives Ellen Rockway and Elaine Honey. Lady Ellen curtsies gracefully. I am Ellen Rockway. I speak for Arathia on matters of state. I will be staying here in your court for the duration of your reign. And... Greetings, I am Elaine Honey, ambassador from Avli. I speak for my country, and my word is Avli's bond. I'll always be available for any business you may wish to conduct. So each of them basically is saying, your queen or your king wants to speak with you, because they both view Harmondale as theirs, may I note. Mind you, there's only one human member of my party, and there's one elven member of my party, so if it was based off of race, I'd be equivalent. Um, basically... They want to each speak with you. Um, long story short, they each have a quest for you. So, as I was saying, we can actually dictate who wins the war over Harmondale. Um, if we complete the Queen's quest, um, and kind of deep six the King's quest, uh, the humans will end up controlling Harmondale at the end of the war as a result of treaty. Um, if we do the opposite, we end up with the elves taking control of Harmondale. Um, at the moment, the humans control Harmondale for reference. There's a third option, though, and it's non-obvious, because if you do both of the quests or neither of the quests, the humans end up winning, because the humans currently control Harmondale, so they have a bit of advantage. There is an extra hidden quest, that quest that I was talking about that only lasts for about a week, that if you complete that, you can complete it in three different ways. Two of them, the game tells you, you complete it in the third way, Harmondale wins the war. And Harmondale is declared independent from both countries. So we actually have the option of any of those three that we can do. I have only, I've had, well, when I first played through, I didn't realize that the humans couldn't win the war. So I've had the humans win the war. I've had the elves win the war before when I went, oh, this actually makes the difference. Neat. And the last time I played through was the first time I found out about Harmondale becoming independent. So we can have it go all three ways. And I've done all three. I'm leaning toward Harmondale Independence, but I'll listen to what you all want. All right. Unfortunately, it's dark outside. Not sure why I immediately fell also, but whatever. I still did not find the stupid signal fires, did I? Oh, he's now won the contest of strength. Mm, I never leveled him up. I haven't leveled up either of these characters. Interesting. Huh. Probably should throw up to seven for leather. Let's increase stealing while I'm at it. Stealing? I can't believe I'm actually using stealing. Um, oh, you're not good at bodybuilding. A lot of things that I should be doing, shouldn't I? Hmm. Now I see why I didn't spend any of their skill points. Because it's hard.
Anyway, um, we have some quests that we can do, and it doesn't matter time of day for those quests, so let's get to Arathia. So there's two things that we need to do here. There's actually a quest that we need to accomplish here while we're at it. So first off, we're going to enter Castle Stedwick, or sorry, Castle Griffinheart. This is the town of Stedwick. I really like this picture. The grand entrance to Castle Griffinheart stands before you. A pair of tam tame griffins can be frequently seen, or can frequently be seen circling above the castle. I just like the appearance of this. My back's starting to hurt a little bit. It doesn't look and bad now I get to show you this. So at Master Perception, we can actually start seeing hidden things like this. This is a hidden door. It doesn't really go anywhere useful. It just allows us to skip going up some passageways. They actually do have hours for this. I was not expecting that. So all it does is allow us to walk around this stupid area. But this isn't the reason why I wanted to come here first. Oops. Did not want to walk that close. I want to go invis. And there's a lot of enemies in here for reference. Red. Red. Yellow. So there's a painting in this dungeon. And that's what I'm coming after. Also, we're totally robbing everybody's treasures. Hmm. So that's the way I roll in this game. And there's no real penalty for robbing Reddish. Uh, as long as you're not caught. Oh, nope, never mind. Huh, that's weird. That shouldn't have triggered like that. Is it opening the chest up that caused that? I was paying attention. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly hit these again. I'm now going to actually pay attention to exactly what's triggering it. Red, orange, orange, red, orange, orange. These two are orange, blue, orange, blue. That's another blue. Jump up here just because it's easier for me to make sure I avoid everybody. I'm still in green. Opening this door, walking through. It must be opening this chest. Ow. Yep, it's opening the chest. Sorry. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever noticed that. Anyway, we're actually here for a painting. Not that one. That no, totally should be. We're here for that painting. You notice that that one didn't trigger it. No more. Hmm. This is hmm. That's weird. It did trigger it. Okay. Anyway. Sorry. No room. Anyway, I don't want to make everybody angry right now because I still need to talk with Catherine. Once I'm done talking with Catherine, I will totally come back through here and make everybody angry. That's fine with me. But I don't want to cause a sequence break. Oh, I don't want to cause a break like that. That's a lot more convoluted of a break. Is it any of these chests that trigger it? Yes, it is. Interesting. So I can loot whatever I want as long as there's no trap on it. No, we don't. So, if you bump into somebody while you're still green, you can just recast Invis and not have any issues whatsoever. It's locked. So, this is actually a quest target for me a little bit later. Orange, yellow, red. Orange, yellow, red. Red. Honey. Now we're back in the safe zone. So 
going to recast Invis here. Ow. Uh, headphones are digging into my head and it's hurting a bit. I'm really confused by the way this dungeon is laid out. So, um, let's see. Other things to talk about. Oh, um, the other mouse that I'm using for this, let's see. Let me get to a point where moving the mouse around isn't going to hurt. Hmm. A harm scroll. Really. So the other mouse that I'm using is a vertical mouse. It's what I use at work and what I have currently plugged in here. This is worthless. Hmm. Uh, if I remember right, this is Nicholas's room. It's in Catherine's son, the brat who joined us on the circus. Or the brat who joined us because he wanted to go see the circus. And that is King Archibald. Which, strangely, we had to get that point portrait for somebody else. I'm really confused. We could have just gotten all of them here, but the game won't let you. And green. Who needs endurance? You need it more. All right, we've looted everything that we can loot for the time being. We will be back here. We have to wait until 6 in the morning, though. Grumble. I didn't realize they actually had hours. But we're done here for now. There's no reason to continue on. Um, it's 3.24 in the morning. So, this is the other style of mouse that I use. It's... Uh, Really can't see it very well. It's a vertical mouse, so you hold it like this. Sorry, I have a really short cord length. So you hold it like this. Left mouse button, right mouse button. Scroll wheel right here. And it's an optical mouse. So it works very similar to the way a normal mouse works, only it's tilted vertical. And the reason for that is to help avoid carpal tunnel situations by your wrist being turned a bit. It usually helps. And it does help my wrist. It's the reason why I'm using it. Unfortunately, uh, it's far less precise than using a trackball, so I hate touching it. For this game, it's not that big of a deal. The store is closed. It's not a real first-person shooter, so... Oh, that's right, I didn't get that shield. Alright, who wanted the paintings again? <laughs> Let's take a look. Alright, one note... It was in Italia, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to walk back to Italia until I have to. Oh, we can actually start scrolling further down here now. Now, we don't have the quest yet, so I don't want to scroll further down here. I actually have the notes for all of the quests in the game, but they're separated by paths, so... Yeah, there's only three quests until we trigger the next set. Uh, well, four, sort of. You'll, you'll see what I mean when I get there. So, this section's not going to be very long. But I have nothing to do for a while. Well, the section of the castle uh, of Raytheon I haven't looked at? Well, let me go fix that really fast. this section back here. There's nothing here. I know I already went up there because I remember finding the griffins. Uh, yep, there's nothing else here. I suppose I can go back into the castle and just wait. I don't know if I've ever walked into the castle from the back. There's a royal griffin, it's as you locked. do. That's right. If you loot um, whatchamacallit, her key, um, Lady Griffinheart's key, that is, you can actually get the entrance up there, which is not at all useful. Anyway, we're just going to wait until dawn. Lord Markham tells me that you are the new Lords of Waterdeep, uh, Lords of Waterdeep. Uh, no, no, that's something very different. You are the new Lords of Harmondale. Welcome to the peerage. Now, why do you request an audience of me? 
So you'll notice in the video that she has her spot and then her husband's spot is missing. Because King Roland is still missing, mind you. If you've watched my Might and Magic 6 videos, we only found that King Roland was brought to Yofel, which is one of the places here. Queen Catherine inclines her head regally. You are the lot that won Lord Markham's silly quest. Or silly contest, I see. I must admit, I had little faith until the Dwarf King recognized you as the rightful rulers of Farmingdale. He must have done something to win his respect, or he would have, have he would have nothing to do with you. I'm still not sure what he saw in you, but perhaps there really is something of substance here. We shall see. Maybe you could do something for me that would make me think that I should let you keep your new titles. Recently, a valuable... Uh, agent of mine was arrested in the Chilarian forest for merely doing his job. They're keeping him in a cave somewhere outside of Pierpoint. His name is Lauren Steele, and if they are threatening to and they are threatening to execute him if certain unacceptable conditions are not met in twenty eight days. Return with him before the before then, new will wind respect, gold, and my gratitude. So the twenty eight days is the hint that this war is only gonna last one month. Anyway, that's actually all we needed. How am I doing on time? 31 minutes. I think I'm going to finish the entire war in this video, aren't I? Because... Feed down portal to the Delarian Forest. And this is the second spot that we need to go to. Oh, Castle Navan. Is it safe? Should we go in? I think we might have walked in here once before and then reloaded. I'm so tempted to just cast the jump spell and fall all the way down. That's so much faster. Oh, this is the wrong way. Really don't want to be messing with any of these people right now. So. Throne room. Ah, this guy's name is just Elf King, apparently. So, Harmondale is new lords. Again. Well, better write their names down unless history blinks and misses them, eh? Ha ha ha. Yes, well, you had reason for visiting me, right? Welcome. I understand that you've been appointed lords of Harmondale by that idiot Markham. You know, I will restore Avley's rule over Harmondale. The only question is whether you are with me or against me. If you're with me, I will ensure that you retain your post. Against me, and I will have you have done with you once... Uh, I will have done with you once... That doesn't make sense grammatically. Against me, and I will have done with you once my armies occupy your lands. Okay, anyway. I will be done with you would be the correct way. King Parson smiles affably. So, of course, you're with me. You just need to prove it. Like a famous leader once said, Trust but verify. Words to live by. What I want right now is the plans to Fort Riverstride. It's a huge fort that stands between your lands and Raytheia proper. You can't miss the thing. Sneak in there and get me those plans. If you can do this, I will be in your debt. Not only that, there's a substantial gold reward as well. If the plans are to be have any use to me at all, though, I need to, them delivered to me within a month. You notice that you can also talk to the Elf King over the prison break. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to wait until we're done with... Um, Whatchamacallit, uh, our decision as to whether we want to go on whose side and so on. So. Anyway. Yep. By the way, this passage right here, this is actually where we need to go to rescue Lauren Steele, if I remember right. So, let's see. Oh, I have to get back into green before I can recast Invis. So there are actual enemies in this place. See, notice by opening up a door, everything became hostile. It's a very strange... Oops. Did I not quick save? I must not have. Whoops. Well, let me go walk in again really fast. This has all the makings for adventure. I know it's active, but I'm going to recast it anyway. See? So much faster to walk down. Zoom! Anyway. 
Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. Let me just... The Wily Queen moves against me, eh? I have an idea. I know someone who looks just like the spy she wants you to rescue. Bring my man with you and deliver him to the Queen. She's never met him and won't know the difference. His inside information will encourage her to make mistakes. Be careful not to tip your hand. Wouldn't it do, you, uh, wouldn't it do for her to discover our little plan? It's important to get the imposter to the queen before Mr. Steele is scheduled to execution. After all, you can't rescue Mr. Steele if everyone knows I've executed him. And she'll be, become suspicious if I stay the execution. I've never stayed one before. Hmm. So yeah, by the way, the lords of Arathia and um, Avli, they're assholes. Anyway, I don't actually want to do that right now. Cat... This was happening to me in the previous video a lot. Okay. That's what I was trying to do. Before I found out that opening the door here triggers it. Or as I was thinking it was like the other place where it wasn't opening the door, but something else. There's the one dragonfly. Hmm. Nope. So as long as I... Nope. Uh, I'll just go from the outside. It's easier. Back. You know what's even easier? Just town portaling back. And let's fly. The dungeon's over here. I believe. No, this is a another altar that I didn't know the existence of. Or forgotten the existence of, because I'm pretty sure I've explored everywhere. If I can actually train up any higher in here. I think 25 might actually be the highest level for the Tolarian Forest. I remember they're a lot lower than I would expect from Might Magic 6. The council is in session. Your bounty. Minotaur Headsman. I actually can kill one of those pretty easily. I might do that. Practice makes perfect. Yep. I am too high level now. And I bet I am too high level for almost everywhere I can Town Portal to. So the reason why Town Portal has a spell failure like that is from a glitch. Um, oops, wrong spot. Uh, if you remember, in Might Magic 6, there is a 10% chance of Town Portal failing, or a 10% chance of success for each rank that you have. Unfortunately, they kept that in this game. And they just don't tell you about it. So there's a, since I only have six ranks, or seven ranks, Need some training? yeah, I'm gonna have to go someplace else. Since I only have six ranks, that, or seven ranks, I keep saying that wrong, that means that it's going to fail 30% of the time and not give you any reason for it. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to Fort Riverstride. Because I can always just not grab the plans after all. We're going to just finish this dungeon off. Where was the actual entrance? Was it over here? Yeah. Let's cast some of our buff spells. Been a while since we've done any of this. Unfortunately, they fixed the whole stop and restart your turn thing. I forgot that regen is actually faster than, or lasts longer than Bless and Heroism at this point. Oh well. Uh, I'm getting push polling on mayoral, and mayoral elections. Excuse me, but I'm afraid visitors aren't allowed here. Any attempt to go further into the port will be treated as hostile action. 
Basically, if I move at all in here, I get attacked. But Infiz doesn't count. Except that it totally does. This place is trapped hell and back, by the way. I won't stop me. Oops. I don't remember if... Yeah, no, that doesn't actually trigger it. I don't remember what actually does trigger them to attack you. This is worthless. It's disarmed. Hmm. There's no room for that. I'll make room because I'm pretty sure that's better than most of my rings. And yeah, it's better than null, that's for sure. It's disarmed. Fort River Stride. So, remember what I had mentioned before about how reputation works in this game. Reputation is not global. What I mean by that is that I can slaughter everybody in here and nobody will care. I'm pretty sure I have to. I think I might have gotten as far as I can without... Yeah, I think I did get as far as I can without... Um... I'll cast Torchlight in a bit. There's these, those levers here that basically will attack people in the hallway, which is kind of cool if you think about it. But I like how they actually thought about how somebody would protect a fort and included that with part of these, this area, I disarmed it. but this it really doesn't matter. None of the enemies in the game will actually use them against you. Orange, green, yellow, yellow, orange. First, already did. Yeah, so you'll notice this looks a lot like the cubicles from the um, Might Magic 6's uh, New World Computing Dungeon. I don't know why they reused that area, but okay. Yeah, you notice that the loot in here is pretty much garbage. Barely even worth picking up most of this. It's disarmed. It's always worth picking up money, this but normally the way I go through here is that I slaughter everything in here. I want to see what happens if I didn't. Also, I need more. Room. One of the things I need to be careful about in my recovery from the appendectomy is that I can't really cough or laugh right now. It hurts like hell. Oh boy, does it hurt to do that. I think this is actually the Roshide plans. Yeah. So, technically, that was all we needed in here. None of this is actually needed for us to go through otherwise. It's disarmed. But hey, look, loot. Hmm. I'm not going to say no hmm. loot. Even if loot's garbage. Ugh. Disarmed. This is Just work. look at how much garbage is in this place. And think about, uh, this is a plot quest, basically. I had to be at this point of the plot to be able to do anything about it. Alright, let's see if this will make people angry. This is worthless. Right, salt bait, at least. This is worthless. No that might actually that. be better than what I already have. Mm, nah, I'll keep the ID monsters. So it didn't trigger them. Disarmed. So I will just loot everything else hmm. then. It's disarmed. Hmm. Hmm. This is worthless. Yeah, you it's said disarmed. it. Hmm. So I think the way you're supposed to end up playing the game is that you advance through the plot much faster than I do. I mean that should be fairly obvious by virtue of it not being me. 
and I'm pretty slow at advancing mainline plot for any game ever. Oh, that was the wrong character highlighted. Oh well, he can technically use intellect. It's just not very useful for him. Yellow, purple, red. I want all three of them. And I think this is an exit? Yeah. This is an exit that's underneath the fort, because if that's smart, let's make sure that you can run away from the fort from the outside. Anyway, we're done with that. Let's hop back over to Tutelarian Forest. Actually get a little bit of healing while I'm at it. How may we help you? Walk in the light. Thank you, John Athon. Anyway, um, so, oops, that could have been bad. So, we still need to rescue Lauren Steele from the Tularian Caves. Tularian Caves are north of here, if I remember right. Oh, that's Daya. That's not north. This is north. Good job, me. I can use cardinal directions. Yeah, this is the, the Tularian Caves area. We even walked by here earlier in the game. That's where we encountered a griffin and... Or not griffin, um, a wyvern. Turned around and ran. You remember that? You know, that griffin that's down there. We could do this invisibly, but I actually feel like fighting things. Uh -oh. So, there's a large difference between the lower level and higher level versions of these enemies. The lower level versions are basically pushovers. They're practically bot-like and easy. And ease. The higher level versions are a little more annoying. Ow. Oh, I can recast my... Blessing. Heroism. Does Bless technically last less time? No, they're the same. So once more, reputation has nothing to do with the enemies in here. I can murder everybody in this dungeon and it won't affect me outside of this dungeon. Which makes no sense whatsoever. Letter from Mr. Stanley. You remember Mr. Stanley, don't you? This is worthless. Well, first off, let's deal with this goober. Anyway, Mr. Stanley. Jailkeeper Phaedril. We've built a new addition in, to the caves here in Tlarian Forest. I'm sure you'll like it. To gain access to the new section, you'll have to cross a bridge we concealed with magic. Who would ever think to try to walk on air? Then activate a cell a set of teleporters. One of the teleporters will take you to the prison section, the other two are traps. To make garrison duty of the prison more secure, we've managed to capture some wyverns from Avli and a small tribe of troglodytes to guard the prison section of the caves. Be sure to keep them well fed if you want to visit that section, the wyverns can be quite hostile. Of course, we take no responsibility for your life or the lives of your men. Our job was to supervise prison construction and to minimize chances of rescue or escape. Your safety is in your own hands. Niles Stanley. So yeah, you're starting to see signs of Mr. Stanley way back in the beginning of the game. This is a safe spot for me to stand, which is why I'm standing here. These enemies are still not that hard. They're not great, but they're not hard. We are quite a bit higher level than we probably should be for this area. We might have some No we don't. I'll show you your face. Yeah, somebody got knocked down. That's fine. I think so, remember the castle? I don't want to be down in that section without invis, so I'm not going to do that right now. But that's basically the section that we have to go through to rescue um, the goober. Oh, 
There's the teleporter. Heal yourself up a little bit. He needed to come down here to kill the enemy anyway, so. Still not sure why elves are wearing glowing cloths in this game. I mean, I know the stereotype of stupid sexy elves and all, but yeah, come on. We might have some use no, no we don't. That's a normal dagger. What is wrong with you? We have no uses for normal daggers. None. Well, now we can actually cast invis, so I'm going to go through here again. So basically, there's teleporters on each side of those little slidey things. They're getting stuck in the door frame. They can't get out. Oh, well, maybe I can't get through there yet. That's okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think um, Mr. Steel is actually in this section. So let's continue. Doesn't matter. Okay, oops. Problem with going double speed is that I'm not noticing when I'm screwing things up. Also, now we soon starts loafing. I'm almost done with the video. Hi. Oh, that was easy. Actually, he was not intending to go in biz. Alright, is this where I have... No. No, it is not. Oh, I think it is. Or this is actually a sky bridge. Nope. But I can guess a one spell. Which does not get me high enough. Like there's some friendly people over here. I love friendly troglodytes. Oh nope, you're not a friendly troglodyte at all. You are an ancient wyvern. Okay, for some reason I thought I'd seen. There's a second one on me too, isn't there? A regular wyvern, okay. All I need to do is to not get instantly slain by it and I'm fine. I'm high enough level to take them on now, it's just... That could do a lot of damage. There's still a lot of enemies in this dungeon. I can tell from how slow the turns are going. Let's just go double speed while I'm in turn based mode because it doesn't matter. Bring on a bigger challenge. Okay. And let's go back over to the Troglodytes. Who are currently fighting with Hyverns. You know, you know what that looks like? A good spot for a fireball spell. That worked. Problem solved. This isn't where I want to go anyway, but that's okay. Hmm. This is worthless. Hmm. 
I'm really confused by the whole, by the way, this is an easy dungeon with crappy loot, and oh, by the way, ancient wyvern. This is worthless. This is Game. Worthless. This is worthless. Yeah, those items are pretty craptacular. Let's just find Lauren Steel already. What am I missing in the map? Over there. Troglodytes are fighting wyverns again. I'm hearing that noise, but I don't know what the noise is from. Regular wyverns are not a problem for me anymore. Is that disease or poison? Poison. Body. Care poison. There we go. A bigger challenge. Problem solved. Let me grab this loot while I'm down here. Fine. Must be a bunch of things going off at the same time. Torchlight expired. Really need to level that up some more. Is this the way up? This is just to another area of, hey, look, we went to the wrong spots. I'll grab that. And we just need to go high up. Oops. Not that way. That was me making a mistake on my jumping. This game set of controls is not meant for platforming, by the way. Though it's not quite intuitive. This one, I think, might actually be the air bridge. Yep. Hmm. But if I remember right, it's only certain width? Yeah. You could also just cast the jump spell to go across it for reference. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You are a crappy pitchfork. Alright, there's three little teleporters over here. But I think they're actually up above. Let's go up above. Oops. at least useful. That's the thing that we needed to hit first. I am really... I, Mr. Stantley's um, dungeon design skills are lacking in my mind. Just saying. Alright. One of these three is the correct one. The other two are traps. Let's figure out which one's which. I choose the middle one. Oh, hey, look. It brought me back to the beginning again. These are even really weak traps at that. Hey, look, it brought me to a place with a bunch of wyverns. This is probably the correct way. I'm going to check the third one first, though. Hey, look, it brought me back to the beginning again. I mean, all it does is annoy you. It's not like these are difficult areas or anything. It's disarmed. Letter from Gavin Magnus. Gavin Magnus, remember, is one of the people that we saw in the opening video of the game. Ambassador Wright, it's very important that you speak with the new lords of Harmondale. It's my hope that they can end the stupidity between Castle, uh, Queen Catherine and King Eldritch. Lauren Steele, the carrier of this message, can provide you with further details. If the war continues, it will only serve to strengthen Archibald's position. 
So this is actually what Thorin Steel was trying to do. He wasn't actually a spy. He really was trying to be a diplomat. A sneaky, underhanded diplomat, but still a diplomat. And out, uh, fireball them all. This is worthless. Hmm. It's disarmed. Such craptacular loot. Alright, none of these are ancient. They're horned, so they're still dangerous, but not ancient wyvern level of dangerous. Anyway, let's get us back our Arbazum! Yes. Much better. I picked up an amulet. Hmm. And it's an amulet. I think I have amulets in everybody now, don't I? Yeah. Yep. What a piece of gem. Wait a second. I have IV monster skill already. And my belt is also of IV monster skill. That doesn't work. I could have swapped belts with this belt. No room for that. And it would be better. Hmm. Anyway, this is where we were trying to go. Thank you for rescuing me. Please take me back to Arathia as soon as you can. All right. That is everything. We have completed both of the quests that we have available to us. It is at one hour, slightly over right now. I'm just going to TP out of here. So this video would be going up Friday, I believe. As a result, um, please let me know whether you want me to... Uh, if, you have, if anybody has a preference as whether I side with Arethia... Tularian Forest, or sorry, Arathia, Avli, or Harindale. Let me know, and I will do that as I then twiddle my thumbs for a while. Bye, Internet. Isun also says bye. I would lean up to point the camera better, but I don't think that's something I can do right now. Well, maybe. Bye, Isun. Oh, you're a cute kitty. Good night, Internet. Oh, let me make a real save. So this is actually the end of episode 18. Goodbye, Internet. <laughs>